Today is my seven day streak, which means trophy time. Oh my gosh, wait. It is a pop up. Okay, I'm gonna live over here. Well, this is gonna be exciting. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Loading, 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 loading. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the seven day streak. Cash out. Congratulations. We got the seven day streak trophy, y'all. I can't believe it. Wow! Amazing! Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Okay, let's put a table down and then go to inventory. <gasps> look at it! Awarded for playing seven days in a row. Nice! Ta-da! Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! This is what the seven day trophy looks like. Now we wait to get to the other trophies. Which are, I forget already, 14 and 30? I don't remember. It's so pretty. It's got the number 7 on it. And it's like a star. Because, like, we're all stars, you know. Hey, now, you're Alright, you can dye it whatever color you want. And, yeah, it's perfect. Let's do yellow and blue. These look great together. Oh, ooh, that looks nice. Ooh, white and yellow. Hello, it's been about two days later. I'll be on my ninth visit streak here in two hours. Much excitement. I forgot to say hello to you guys. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We're back in the Blockburg. Now, I still get comments these days on people telling me, Hey, I hate the way you say Blocksburg. Um, do you even know how to say it? That's the point. We're saying it wrong on purpose. Oh wait, I mean, we're saying it right. Today's another Toasty Monday where the episodes are a lot shorter. Instead of me taking my days off, usually I will make it easier on myself and just do like a shorter episode that may or may not be helpful to you guys. The number one thing that I've been like getting requested a lot is how do you skill up faster? Now, there's really, I don't think there's any like specific way to get your skills up really fast. Um, but I can teach you guys a few things, I think. I'm not too sure on the skill department. I, I know a little bit of a strategy to like work longer. Here's a couple of tips and tricks. You may or may not already know this. So the first thing I want to um, just help you guys with. So gardening is probably going to be one of the easiest skills you can level up because you can buy a lot of plants and the more plants you try to grow, the more you buy, the more the skill, I think the faster the skill will go up because once they fully grow, then your gardening skill progress will go up. And this is one of the easiest skills to get up without too much effort. Although it probably will take a bit of effort. But yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, water my my garden. Don't forget to water your windows. Yeah, you're just gonna probably plant a bunch of things. Maybe, maybe the expensive stuff. I feel like the expensive stuff will get your gardening skill up faster. I feel like it would maybe. I haven't been gardening in a long time, but I'm level four. That's not too bad. Almost halfway there. I forgot you can water your trees now too. That's kind of crazy. So yeah, gardening skill, one of the easiest skills to get up there. Just buy a bunch of plants, make them all grow and just let them sit there and do something else in the process because there's really not much you can do with gardening. You just plant and wait. You can like work at the pizza delivery, get some money, or like you can just go role play or something. While you're doing that, your plants will be growing and your progress will keep going up. So should I like test to see whether like the cheaper plants give you more, less XP? I don't know. Wow, 78%, amazing. We're at 78, 81. What if I buy cheap plants? Let's see how much that will get us. Let's do some short grass and then put fertilizer and see how much progress we get. I'm gonna say the high creeper. Uh, okay, so this short grass, we're at 81%. And so let's see, um, let's see how much this gets us. So it's five block bucks. This will get us to... Okay, I think that basically confirms that. I think the more expensive plants you um, put down, the faster your um, gardening skill will go up. So um, I think that confirms it because I bought this and I put fertilizer on it. It didn't get me anywhere really. So maybe just buy a bunch of expensive plants. Let's put down some lilies and see what happens. Okay, so if we do fertilizer on this, 84. I'm, I don't know if it's a fact or not if the expensive plants give you more XP, but it feels like that right now. Ooh, okay. So I think I have another, I think this might work. So if we go, let's make like a little skill room real quick. Let's make a little skill room. We're gonna put a glass roof, cause why not? Those are fun. Okay, so this next tips and tricks is for your intelligence and gaming. This might be obvious. Get a simple desk, get a computer. We'll just buy like a dinosaur computer and then have a little chair. Next thing we're gonna buy is a bookshelf. So this is gonna be our intelligence and um, gaming skill at the same time. I think this might work. Let's go to our little room here. We're gonna sit down on the computer and we're gonna play some games because that's how you get your gaming skill up. And at the same time, we're going to read a book. Okay, that 
Is that a thing? Can you actually do that? Multitask? So you're doing two skills at once. Um, let's see if the percentages go up. But we're just gonna wait here and see if it goes up to 34%, we go up to 26%. And obviously the higher level your skill is, I think it's, you know, it takes longer to get it up. Later. Oh my goodness, this is taking forever. It's been like 40 seconds. Oh wait, it went, okay, intelligence went up 1%. So if you want to get two skills at once, I think gaming and intelligence are the only ones you can get up at the same time. Um, or you could do writing as well, I think. So if you do, um, if you write a book and you read a book, yeah, so you can multitask with the computer. So you can either get your gaming and intelligence up or you can get your writing and your intelligence up at the same time. So that's pretty useful, I think. So there's that. Music, I feel like everything else, um, there's really no faster way to do it. Get your music skill up, you just sit on instrument or whatever and just it'll go up. The multitasking one is probably the most useful one out of this whole video. So then you're still getting those two things at once. So you're reading the book and you're being an aspiring author. For the cooking skill, I don't think it matters what stove you use. I think no matter what you do, it's going to be the same percentage. Um, but yeah, I hope you found something helpful or something useful with this video. Um, I'm sure a lot of people already know about skills and whatnot. But for those that don't, this is the video for you. Question of the day, how are you guys doing with your blocks, brick streaks? Have you broken them yet? Or are you still working towards the next trophy? Have you got your first trophy yet? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to see how many people already broke their streaks because I feel like one day I'm going to break mine on accident. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up or if you found it helpful. And if you guys want to continue watching any other Roblox videos on the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it is completely free thank you all so much for taking the time every day to watch this and i'll talk to you guys in the next upcoming video so stay tuned stay awesome have a wonderful day pita bread signing out goodbye everybody